Hey everyone, it's me and the Gamer here bringing you my review for Maggie, The Labyrinth of Magic, Chapter 202 Review. Now, I literally had copped this series just like a couple hours ago, and as I was reading, reading when I was reading like Chapter 201, I was like, okay, now I'm officially all copped, and when I got to the end of it, it, the new chapter, I was like, oh wow, the new chapter came out. Read it? Actually, read a few times because usually for me, I'm not sure if it is for you guys who also review chapters, usually it's best for me to read a chapter several times before I review it. So, yeah, I read the chapter several times. Here I and here I am bringing you my first Monogie review. Which, tell me how you like how you feel about this review. Should I make this a permanent part of my channel? Add Monogie to more so the series I review. And yeah, let's get on with the review. Now, I'm going to skip to always the end of the chapter's mission in this. I'll ask on the quiz part, describe Alibaba's mental state in less than 30 seconds. Here is I'm here is how it is. F1 R2 I3 E4 N5 D6, I, yeah, it's like, I don't know why I just took a brick there, but yeah. Then, space, seven, C, O, song, and I mean, then like, just pretend I have a, a love and fear for a second, then put a goddamn, like, E at the end, yeah, friend zone, 11 words. Now, I dare one of you motherfuckers to come up with something shorter. And no, you can't cheat. I know what you're about to do. You can't remove that space from friend zone. That won't count. I dare one of you motherfuckers to come up with something even less than 11 characters. And I'll give you, I may or may not give you a cookie to describe Alibaba's mental state. But, alright. Now, onto this chapter itself. This... This chapter felt like a was mostly a setup chapter. Chapter it more so kicks off with a flashback of Alibaba talking to Morjana on how the fact that on how he is just worried about more so Babla or however you pronounce it. Like I can't pronounce its names and Magi for shit. And yeah. What it is, is that Alibaba's mostly worried about it. About what's going on, it's the fact that he... And, like, I'm actually, scratch that, I'm gonna say he's more worried about it. He's just, like, wondering what he should do, because he's thinking the fact that there's probably nothing he left he could do for Baba's sake. And it's giving me the fact that he doesn't feel it's safe in the hands of the cult empire, so he's tried to talk to Prince Colin about several times, about during the, during that time, during the, the Magasin arc. And I imagine this means he's going to try, and more so, get Bala free from the Cold Empire's control. That's I imagine his more, what he's going to mostly try to do with this mean. And then the fact that we jump to the next day, and we see the fact that pirates have more so ambushed them, then we see, Obitor, however you pronounce his name, yeah, as I, as I said, said, I am absolutely fucking horrible when it comes to pronouncing names in Magi. They, they're pretty much battling the pirates left and right. Right. And they're, and it's pretty much a massacre on the pirate side with, our, with Obato's former, pretty much, former members of the pirate crew he was once a part of, assisting in the battle. Then, Tolos is, is also assisting it as well, but then both Abao and Tol get a bit of a surprise. They actually awaken a household vessel, which, judging by this, I'm guessing now I'm going to, we could probably now give them, I guess, something close to main character status, since now they have more so a direct link to Alibaba with the household vessel.
and which in their household vessels more so is what ends up being the pirate's defeat. Didn't we get to a celebration at the end of the chapter, and that Tolo and Oba, yeah, I just butchered his name again. Not only they have became household vessels for Alibaba, but Tolo and Oba, or Oba, yeah, I think that's how you actually pronounce it, Oba, have become a couple. And then we more so see at the end of the, ch and then we see in the last page like. Oba and Toro are like cutesy and cuddly. Then we go to Alibaba. And his face is just a complete blank stare. And it's quite funny, yet sad at the same time because, God damn it, Alibaba. You have terrible luck with women. Not as bad as Fuichi from Bilzibub, which most of the women in Bilzibub think Fuichi is a, either a gay or a pedo. Yeah. And then it's like this, it's like Alibaba, it's like, I guess this is how, I'm guessing how he's feeling how Morji Anna felt like two chapters ago, when he pretty much did friends on her. Then, but, yeah, it's now, now it's more so some of the things I want to speculate in predictions. I so, I, I mostly see like next couple chap, the next chapter more so discussing like, Oba's, and Tolo's relationship, like, more so focusing on that, and while I'm not big into shipping or any of that, I do see the fact that potentially in this arc, though, that Alibaba and Morgiana, at least Alibaba made the felt feelings for Morgiana, at the most, of they'll become a couple. I see that happening in this arc. And I do see more so writing in Bala, yeah, I just butchered that name again as well, in the next do I actually think that's how you pronounce it? Babala. Babylon, or like however you. Fuck! But I see more so arriving there, like within the next couple chapters, possibly at the end of the next one. Not like at the beginning of the next chapter, at the very least, the ending to the next chapter, or perhaps somewhere within the chap like in the next in the chapter after that. But yeah. Overall, this was a good chapter of Magi. Primarily, it was a sub action focus, and the big thing, thing in this chapter is the fact that Oba and Toro are now household vessels for Alibaba. But yeah, overall, good chapter of Magi. What do you guys think of my first review of Magi? Give me your thoughts down below in the comments. And uh, yeah, also, did you love this chapter? Did you hate it? Were you somewhere in the middle? If you like this video, leave a like. If you dislike it, leave a dislike. If you want to see more content like this, sub to me. But yeah, anyways, I'm Amy Game Nerd, signing out. Peace.